Okay, this is what we kind of call the casual discussion of Geeker Things. We're going to be talking about the new Star Wars trailer and what we think about it and what it means and, and just have a discussion right here in the living room. So, and start off, what was your thoughts about it? Uh, my thoughts... Torn. Torn. Um, I think that uh, I'm excited, but at the same time wondering where this story is going. Is it going to a place that uh, feels Star Wars? Well, it feels like they're going to carry it on somewhere else, I think. A new world, a new type of force, the next generation. I how, sense that. Yeah. How Killing you, off all the old characters, kind of. Yeah, I mean, obviously they, it looks like Princess Leia, Right. And maybe gone. Maybe gone. Well, which she's makes dead, sense. so I think they are gone. She's gone already. <laughs> right, right. Luke, You've heard all those Luke rumors, might too. possibly die. He was kind of like laying on his back there and saying this isn't going to end well. So In the rain. Right. No, he didn't something. say it's not going to end well. He said this isn't going to end the way you think it's going to end. Yeah. What would you think, Terrence? Um, I didn't like the trailer. I didn't, wow. think, I didn't think it gave me that emotion. I think the first trailer that came out for this back during celebration, right in April, was better. I can't it even grabbed, remember it. It grabbed that emo. There you go. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> you need the Stormtrooper hat. Can you, can you feel bad? I do. I feel bad. No, I mean, it, I'm still excited for the movie. It Obviously, at the end with Kylo Ren, and it seemed as though, obviously, he's talking to him and Ray are talking, and he's kind of holding out his hand. The whole like twist that seems interesting, twist but the uh, but everything else just like seemed like flashes, like I don't know, like action sequences instead of real depth. Where I felt like the first trailer had real depth. But do you think they're just trying to hold <clears throat> back from giving too much? Of yeah, the story and I right? understand that, but then make the trailer a minute long and give me like two good scenes. Like don't make it a two minutes and thirty seconds. Brian Johnson did say that he's gonna put. Potential spoilers in this. I think it's, it's too obvious. They're so what's so Ray is going to be a bad guy. Okay, from the woman's perspective. They're not going to obviously be showing that Ray is going to the dark side. I think it's pretty obvious. The official it's trailer that they want us to get all upset that she's going to, so then that way when she doesn't, we're oh yeah, good, always prevails over evil. I would like her to go to the dark side. Me too. Like that would be interesting. And I don't like happy endings, so they will be like real boring. <laughs> <laughs> But I do listen to the people that are in film and watch their shows and that have the connections. Mm -hmm. And from what everybody's saying is The Last Jedi is great. Good. So That's fantastic. The good. people that have that are tied into it the, with Ryan Johnson it has been like awesome. They wanted Ryan Johnson to do episode 9. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. But he he's just burnt out. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so they got JJ as yeah. second fiddle. Oh, okay. He will finish what he started. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh maybe I mean maybe you're right. And hopefully that is I I I don't have The things that I don't like what I see right here all the computerized effects. Yeah, the port um, was yeah. everything mm -hmm. a lot of of digital effects. JJ right, used a lot there. of practical effects, which that made that was what I loved. It makes it real. Yeah. <clears throat> so I, what were you talking about the first trailer? Hmm? You were saying the first trailer from the fortieth anniversary? The first trailer, you mean as far as celebration? Yeah, what did you guys see at celebration? Yeah, the, the first one. Did the, I see the first trailer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember anything about the trailer. Like, you turn around and go, No, I, I didn't see it, but... They didn't reveal that much. They didn't. It that was wasn't that just turn around and said, The journey needs to end. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just like that. Yeah. The Jedi needs to end. <laughs> the Jedi okay, Star Wars saga needs to end. More importantly, could we I not wait till the it. last minute to make our Star Wars costumes for the movie? 
we get on that now? So that well, it's like been down that road. Together or something? I want to be the trash can in the background. Wearing that Boba Fett again there, Ed? No, I want to be the trash can in the background. What it cost you? I'll be Boba Fett. Five grand, and it's just the mannequin rack. Sits on a rack, eventually maybe on a mannequin. get a new shirt. I think that's the best way to go. I like the I like Ed's jacket. Just get a classic Star Wars jacket. Well, I have my Star Wars sequins t-shirts. Oh, that's, that's right. What, I'll be wearing. what am I going to I'll be sporting C-3PO makeup and Dee will be my I think these guys should be Can I be an Ewok? Yeah, that'd be great. The pugs can be porgs. Yeah, yeah. What am I? I'm going to get my... You're always Darth Vader. Yeah. Yeah. That's just... Parts. You are the Darth Vader. <laughs> you be Ray. <laughs> and everybody be Ray. Yeah, so I don't we all be in line and it's all the same Star Wars shirt. <laughs> and I'll wear my disco one. And <laughs> you know, but it's no fun with costumes when they don't let you wear masks or makeup. Well, when I think costumes, they have yeah. anything. Yeah. You can wear, like, like a jacket. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's true. Like, sir, you can't bring that... You can't really do anything. Oh, sir, you have an AK-47? Yeah. Come right through. That's why I want to do like a little party, pre party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we could do it even that night because it's we've got nine thirty tickets. Yeah. We could do like yeah. a Are five. Yeah, we playing? So Windrock or where we? Droid out of wood. The the Windrock Theater. Or? Yeah. The yeah. RPX. Yeah, my friends like Finn is the chosen one or something. Yeah, you know what? We didn't talk about Finn. Yeah, Finn, Finn kind of played a silent you know, part Finn, in this whole well, thing. Well, Finn and Poe, they got the least amount out of that trailer. Yeah. And yet, well, and, and yet they talk oh, about, the first, right, that in the first Finn trailer? is still a big part of the story, right, apparently. Right. Oh, is like, it? Like, they're oh. just dividing out. Is off, it? Right? I mean, but he is. Is he going to get executed since they're making that push for Isn't the first it order? Isn't it in the first trailer, Poe's, like, running away from an explosion? Yeah. yeah. Dramatically. That's cool. when they're Aren't they going to have a third trailer before the next one? Or this is it? No, this is it. This is it till December 15th. This is it. Maybe Finn. It's only in two months. Maybe, maybe, maybe Luke will train Finn because he's humble. And Ray and Kylo are not so humble. Is Yoda and Ben Kenobi going to make an appearance somehow via voice or ghost image? Force ghost. Force ghost? I bet. think so? Oh, you dropped your phone. Good job. There's the pugs. <laughs> well, we're pretty sure, right? Hayden Christensen is in it as well, right? Who? He is? Yeah, they said Who's something that? about him. I mean, there's been a big push on him since Celebration being this there. And all so he's going to be a ghost? ghost? Force Probably. ghost? Could be. In his younger self? Ghost. Trying to talk Kylo, <laughs> don't do it. I've been down that road. Or no, it'll it's probably be Luke say. that has the image. Well, and, and we still don't even know who Snoke is. Does anyone think that Luke will die? What is Snoke? Right. Do you we think Luke know. will die? Well, we can sort of see that he has a force sentient kind of knowledge. Do you think Luke will die? He's able to do that weird yeah. thing to Ray. What? You never know. You never know. Well, what we do know of Snoke is he's from the outer... Like, outer reaches. The, yeah. Uh, I forget what you call him. Outer rim, right? Beyond the outer rim, he's, the outer rim. he's in the uh, unknown, unknown regions. Unknown regions. Do you, do we think we're gonna finally find out who Ray's parents are, or is that gonna be in the? Third I think one? you know. I think it's so. One. It's not that important. It's Ice Window. <laughs> you know, one of my guesses is that it's gonna be uh, Poe Dameron's sister. Wait, what? Poe po Dameron's, Dameron's sister. sister. Yeah. Replay the uh, Star Wars trick, huh? Right. Yeah, you gotta have a relative in there somewhere. You gotta have a relative. <laughs> Kylo and Ray Star Wars is not Star Wars without some incest Sorry, story. Sorry, Raylo fans. But. <laughs> <laughs> Brother kissing his sister and not knowing. But there's no romance Maybe. between Ray and Poe. <laughs> you never know. They've been careful. They probably haven't even been. Yeah. It'll be unleashed in this one. Star Wars Unleashed, get it? <laughs> no, I don't get it. I think I I, I think it's Qui Gon's daughter. Qui Gon. No, wait, wait, I have to say Can I say something? Can I say something? I gotta say something. In her resist, yeah, resistance outfit, her hair looks like Qui Gon. As I'm saying. What there if it's go. Anakin's sister? What? What if Anakin's mom sharing. had another child yeah. again? That but she got she's... pregnant she and did died. not know, and that's why she hid this one away because she lost Anakin. That's, I thought that she died. Silly. What? <laughs> and frozen. She's still so frozen. I'm thinking way outside Ray, the box here. Ray is the youngest looking 70 year old that I've ever seen. Yeah. 
She, I thought Anakin's no, I meant, mom died. I meant Anakin's mother got pregnant again from an unknown source, and this is the second child. So Luke Skywalker, who is Anakin's son, is older than dirt, and you somehow think that his sister is a 20-year-old girl. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> if Luke's not gonna not gonna train Ray, if Luke has rejected Ray and she's feeling like, well, what what am I supposed to do now? And maybe Kylo Ren is feeling like a, some bit of, you know, regret for killing his dad. The two of them are feeling like lost souls, lost and they're gonna come together. And maybe somehow they they connect in a way that they think that they are doing the greater good for the the universe. Or maybe. But they're stuck in the middle, so they're not good or bad, but somehow they connect in between their two powers. They think that they're doing something fantastic together, and maybe that's why Luke at the end is like, this isn't going to go the way you think it's going to go. So they're just stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle. Luke yeah, together. Gonna take them out next But don't they have because to... Because neither one of them really feels at home. Luke because... isn't powerful enough. Kylo Ren is always feeling like he's not belonging anywhere, and Ray, and, and Ray's not feeling like she's belonging anywhere. So I think the two of them are going to come together somehow. Come together. Or maybe Jar Jar. And I don't think they're going to be good or bad. I think it's going to be like, we don't know. We don't know where it's going to be headed. Well, I would say my theory. That's Jar Jar Binks playing this all out. But I still think they have to find a way to kill off. Princess Leia because well, that's of obvious. her passing she's away. So die. somehow she's going to die, whether that's by Kylo old age. or another attack. <laughs> but maybe Kylo smoking. doesn't pull the trigger. Huh? Maybe the scene is he's trying to shoot somebody <laughs> else that's destroyed the station sticks. and it's too Yeah, old. I think here's the thing. In, in, in this day and age, nobody does trailers that are going to be what it actually is. They're <clears> going to try to mislead you, true. misguide you. They're going to try to make you feel all sorts of confused. So... I don't, I, I don't think, you know, Maybe, they're wanting us to think he's bad and she's right. turning bad, but I don't think that's actually what's going because that's too obvious. Maybe 50% of those things won't even be in the movie. <laughs> like that poem. That was Rogue One. That was Rogue One. <laughs> yeah, didn't they do that for Rogue One? Really? Took yeah. away, they took away a bunch of the scenes. That but I think there. that would be a new storyline where they're in, stuck in the middle of the dark side and, and the light, you know, the good. And what about, is there anything in between? Is there anything in between good guy. or bad? Like, why does it have to be one or the other? Why can't they come together? Well, that's the whole point that Luke makes in the first trailer. The, that he didn't want to interfere in anything because it only causes problems. You know, the good side starts interfering with the bad side right. and... and Either the bad side grows in strength and power, or the good side grows mm -hmm. in too much strength and power. And the whole thing is about balance. Yeah. There has to be a balance. Because if you think about Ray's past, she wasn't she she didn't have a side. You know? Right. Well we don't even know where she comes from. No, we don't, but I mean she we don't yeah, we don't have much history, but it's not like she kinda stumbled upon the good and this force awakening in her, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to use that to for the good side or one or the other. You know, some people are like, I don't like one of these choices, I'm going to make my own. And if between the two of them, if they are the ones that have the power, who's to say that they're good or bad? Right. I think mom should be in the Star Wars show. So. <laughs> <laughs> she is. No, I'm just, I mean... Well, that's a perspective I didn't think about, that maybe the two of them are going to create something new. We've already done the good versus evil. Yeah. But why? But it is not always so black and white. Right. And, and you always have to understand that movies today and, and stories today are very keen on situations of today. Yes. And we live in a world where that's all gray. everything's divided. Yes. Either extreme one way and extreme the other way, and there is no balance. So you know he's taking this story points mm -hmm. from contemporary life, right? And it gives it a new, a new um, layer for Star Wars because Star Wars is always just good versus evil, and good turning evil and evil turning good. You know, so. Let's take this in a little bit. Oh, yeah, like the Star the turn yeah. But I do think eventually it has to become that anyways. It just does, right? What? Because it's not Good interesting. Good versus evil? Yeah, because it's just not sure. interesting anymore. If you just leave it, 
You know, if you just leave, like, if you just leave. Was that the pen middle. from that Peter Pan movie in the nineties? Who? Yeah, that's that. Oh yeah, yeah. it's Rufio. 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 Rufio yeah. Rufio's on the Star Wars show. <laughs> Who, the guy in the green shirt or the black shirt? The guy in the black shirt. No, the guy in the black shirt. Anthony Carboni. Flower. <laughs> well, we just got to take a couple of days and think about it, digest it over, and then hopefully... Uh... Poop it out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Poop it out. That's if how you do it. make a turn, it'll push one out. That's it. And on that note, we conclude our podcast with oh. Geeker Things. <laughs>